Hi everyone, my name is Katharina. In the today video I transform two pants into a pleated skirt. I paid 3 euros for each of the pants. The white jeans is out of cotton fabric, the pyjama pants is out of cotton jersey. First I rip off the waistband. I need it later as a skirt waistband. After that I disassemble the whole jeans. I do the same with the pyjama pants. I get four parts out of one leg. Together 8 parts out of the jeans and 8 parts for the pleats out of the pyjama pants. So I measured my waist and divided it by 8. For the skirt I draw a 10 cm horizontal line. Then I draw two vertical lines at right angles. That's my skirt length. At the left and at the right side I add 2.5 cm and connect the lines. Don't forget to add seam allowances on all sides. For the pleats I draw a rectangle. Twice the width of my skirt part at the top and the length of my skirt, plus seam allowances on all sides. Each of the two back pleat parts measures the half of one whole pleat part plus seam allowances on all sides. Now I trace the skirt parts onto the jeans fabric and cut them out. I need 8 parts for the skirt. Since the pyjama pants has a pattern, I line all pleat parts with one side at the red line of the fabric pattern. Then I trace and cut out 7 pleat parts. At least I also cut out two half pleat parts. To avoid fraying I search the long sides of all parts. You can also zigzag them. I know jersey doesn't fray, but whatever, if I'm already there. Now I pin the skirt and pleat parts together.
At both ends I pin a half pleat part. Stitching time! Folding the pleats isn't difficult at all. Just mark the center of a pleat and fold the skirt parts to the center. Do the same with every pleat except the two half pleats. To fix the pleating, baste along the top edge inside the seam allowance. Before installing the zipper, I stitch the two half pleats together. After stitching, I decided to reinforce the fabric. The jersey isn't stiff at all and I want to avoid creases in the zipper area. Then I stitch in the zipper. To be able to use the zipper, I open the seam in the zipper area. Now I can make the last pleat and fix it at the top. During the whole process, I decided to close the upper 4 cm of the skirt pleats. I put the waistband around my waist and mark the width I need. Then I open the waistband, match the marks and stitch it. I remove the loops because I didn't like them anymore. Now I close the waistband and pin it to the skirt. I stitch along the edge. Sometimes I need to push the waistband slightly further. The hem is still missing, so I search the lower edge and fold it inside the skirt. You can also zigzag the edge or simply fold it twice.
I like the small heart, so I decided to glue it with a waistband. And here is the final transformation. I am really happy with the pleated skirt. It goes very well with overknees or just with sneakers. If you don't want to miss my next video, just click on the subscribe button.